Taurus, welcome back to my channel, Yansa's Universe. It's me, Yansa. This is going to be your May monthly reading. This is going to be general, so whatever messages come out, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, protect me if I go with the letter. Keep me safe. Give me clear on these messages for Taurus. All right, this is for Taurus, May 2022. What messages do you have for Taurus? All right, Taurus. Um, your reading had actually got interrupted. What I was getting was you didn't forgive someone or someone hasn't forgiven you and um, someone was holding a grudge, but you probably don't care, okay? All right, this is for you, Taurus. This is for Taurus. Let's get a um, just a little pre-shuffle out and see what we could be dealing with generally in May. I'm going to pull from the Oracle, the Energy Oracle cards, and then um, do another spread for you, okay? This is for Taurus. What messages do you have for Taurus? I don't usually read reverses, but I've been led to read reverses for you, Taurus. All right, we have a Six of Swords. So you're moving forward. All right, you have a clear mind about this, very level-headed. All right, you've been wanting to move forward for a long time. It's taken six days, six weeks, six months, eight of pentacles. You haven't been putting the work into something like you should have been. Maybe there was a delay, eight of pentacles reverse. You don't want to work on something anymore. You just want to move forward. You just want to let the chips fall where they are. All right, for, this is for Taurus. Yeah, the Knight of Wands, Page of Wands, a lot of fire. With the judgment reverse, you don't want to give anything. You don't want to give them a second chance. You don't, you don't want to give this person, place, thing a second chance. You're done. You're not putting any more work into it. Clarify the Six of Swords. Three of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, no, you're not putting any more work into this. You're done. You're going to just, just leave it as is. You don't care what people think about it anymore. You don't care what people say about it anymore. You just don't care anymore. All right, clarify the Eight of Pentacles reverse for Taurus. The Knight reverse. You don't want to be sad anymore because the Knight is a sad card. Very depressed, anxious. So this is telling me that you have been very depressed. You have been very anxious. You have been um up late at night you haven't been getting sleep you have been i hear somebody's even been throwing up they they've been so sick to, they have been so sick to their stomach they either have been throwing up or they feel like they could throw up constantly constantly because of how sick to your stomach you are with this all right clarify the knight of wands clarify the knight of wands and get back up on my bullshit back up on the scene Okay, I'm done deal. I'm done dealing with you. You don't. You don't know how to love me. Okay. Four of Pentacles. Yeah. The next time you deal with somebody, it's gonna be at arm's length. You gonna get your rocks off and go. No more love. No more love. Clarify the page of wands. You're not opening your heart. Will of Fortune reverse. You don't see this moving forward. You don't see this going anywhere. You're done. Stick to your stomach. Clarify the Will of Fortune reverse. So I'm seeing that somebody's messages have not been received. They've been blocked. So, because the Page of Wands is like a messenger or a child. Something has been blocked. Something is not progressing. Something is not moving forward. We have the morning and the ace of cups. So we have the night reverse and then the morning. The night reverse is not wanting to go through this dark night of the soul. You want to just pass over it. You want to be happy. With this wheel of fortune reverse, you're going to have to go through the night to get through the morning but we we do have the ace of cups in the morning so i feel like you could have two options right here 
blocking this person, not talking to this person, not moving forward with this person, place, thing, idea, situation, job, whatever. It's going to bring you happiness. It's going to bring you a lot of happiness. The morning and the ex of cups. And some of you could be pregnant. Some of you could be giving birth. Okay. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo. Messages do you have for Taurus May 2022? This is for Taurus. This is for Taurus. Daughter, romance is still, and it's upright, but you have a broken heart. This, how are you going to get this daughter romance open if your heart is still broken? Give me one more. Happy family reverse deceit. Somebody's been lying. Okay, somebody's been lying and you can't, you could be pregnant. I said that. So what this is telling me is. You found out that you you found out that your spouse, your boyfriend, girlfriend, your mom, your dad, whoever this is in your family, whoever it is, has been lying. Somebody has another person, daughter romance, and then broken heart. It broke somebody's heart that you chose another person. It broke your heart that somebody chose somebody else over you. But the thing is, I don't see that this is. I don't see this as stopping love from coming in. I'm seeing that this this broken heart and this happy family reverse with deceit. Somebody's just been lying about something. I don't know what it is that they're lying about. You could be lying to yourself. The thinking man woman holding a coin the sun reverse i feel like you could have lost the child something about a child is making someone sad very sad maybe you don't know how to tell your spouse that you lost the child or that you are pregnant what is going on clarify daughter romance you have love coming into your life. Anxiety. Okay. You're anxious about love coming into your life. You're wondering if it ever will come. Maybe, Taurus, I feel like you've been keeping yourself stuck in some type of situation and you've been breaking your own heart and you want to get out of this. But you choose to stay in here. Adjacent possibilities. There's so many things to choose from. But you, you're staying in one place. Clarify the uh, broken heart. Rest and rejuvenation. Yeah, you need peace. Rest and rejuvenation. But I feel like if you take some time out to yourself, you're going to realize how sad you are. You're going to realize how lonely you are. Clarify happy family reverse. The temple path reverse. You're going the wrong way. You're choosing to ignore spirit, ignore the signs. Clarify deceit. Appreciation. Thinking man, angel of balance, envy, caring, connection, reverse, woman holding a heart, reverse. So what I'm getting is you're feeling really unappreciated and it's stressing you out. 
and you've been lying or somebody has been lying about something. Somebody's been gaslighting you as well. This appreciation next to the seat, they're like, oh, yes, Taurus, you are just the, the best. So wonderful. Where would we be without you, Taurus? And they're like, they kind of got this like tone or demeanor to them where they're being like sarcastic. They're gaslighting you. Taurus, we need you. Of course we need you, Taurus. And I feel like this person, their gaslighting has led you to be in this connection or this relationship that you ain't even supposed to be in. Let me read this uh, Temple Path Reverse to you. 12. Okay. The Temple Path represents spiritual purpose and support. Receiving this card reversed is a sign that you may have fallen off your path. You could be too focused on worldly possessions and material gain, or you may simply be maintaining old, unhealthy habits of fear, limitation, worry, or doubt. Whatever is distracting you, receiving this card reversed is a firm message that it's time to make your spiritual life and evolution a much higher priority. Not doing so represents an important loss of power. So... Whatever it is that you're doing is causing you to lose your own power. This is a self-sabotage type of energy you're in. And I feel like you're holding on. You, you, you're you holding on and you're going through this door of romance because I feel like you're afraid to be alone. This broken heart, when you get alone, rest and rejuvenate, you have to heal. You don't want to have to admit that you need healing or this person, okay? Whoever it is that's deceiving themselves because you're not appreciative you're actually upset you're anxious you're anxious you're unbalanced you're not happy okay what's going on in taurus with love life i was going to call you gemini it could be taurus gemini cusps This is for Taurus. What's going on in Taurus's love life? And we'll close this reading. Eight of Pentacles reversed again. You're not working on this. This isn't going anywhere. You're not getting the reciprocity. You're not getting what um, you're owed. You put all this work into this person, place, thing, situation. You're not receiving the rewards. You're not receiving the fruits of your labor. Nope, Queen of Pentacles reverse, exactly. You're not receiving the fruits of your labor. You don't feel appreciated here. You feel undervalued, underappreciated. What's going on in Taurus's love life? Four of Wands reverse. This is not a happy home. The same cards keep coming out. You could be dealing with a Leo or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles reverse. Seven of Pentacles. You've been, you've been planting these seeds, Taurus. It's not anybody else anymore. Now it's time for you to take a look at yourself. Yeah, people, this person plays things situation or people may have planted these seeds initially, but you kept planting them and you kept watering them and you kept growing them. Okay. You kept investing in dead things, dead situations. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles reverse. It's time to let it go. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles reverse, the Queen of Pentacles. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles reverse for Taurus. The King of Cups and the Chariot. You could be doing with the Cancer, with the King of Cups and the Chariot. I feel like there is somebody who loves you. Or maybe this is you needing to love yourself, move forward and love yourself, heal yourself. Pour into your own cup. Because this Queen of Pentacles reverse is a selfish type of energy. Focused on yourself. Very selfish. Um, very greedy. Does not give. Okay. Clarify the Four of Wands reverse. The Knight of Wands. Clarify the Four of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Somebody says anything, they're in and out of your life. 
and you let them. Queen of Swords reverse, yeah, you let them. You're not sticking up for yourself at all. And I feel like this person, this King of Cups and the Chariot, they don't give a damn how you feel. They're happy. They love themselves. They do whatever they want to do to make themselves happy. And it's time for you to start sticking up for yourself. Queen of Swords reverse, she's not even saying nothing. She's just letting this shit happen. Okay? Time for you to say something. Speak up for yourself. Stick up for yourself. Okay, Taurus? Give me one last message. Temperance reverse. No more giving it time. No more patience. None of that shit. No more giving this person a pass. None of that. You run out of patience. You run out of patience, Taurus. All right? Time to pick your shit up and go. Or do whatever you need to do to heal yourself, love yourself, and start feeling appreciated again. Stop. Time to start speaking up for yourself, Taurus. Okay? I love y'all. Y'all can be dealing with a Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, another Taurus, or a um, Sagittarius, Libra, Aquarius. Y'all could be dealing with anybody, though. I love y'all. Time for you to stick up for yourself, especially in May. Y'all be safe. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, leave me a love donation, book a personal reading with me, donate to the channel. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.